Morning. Welcome to Hard Left Fake News. Yes, this is the guy that set up uh, set up Vice News, Vice Media. As they're always there, the Britain First demos or when Tommy's out. Yes, Surush Alvi. Well, if he's not a Mohammed by another name, I just don't know who is. <laughs> Obviously a blatant inbred Mohammed. Yes, here we are. Yes, we see it's really, really well balanced, this media outlet. It was designed to attract the youth from Canada, and it did. And uh, look at look how well balanced the reporting is, yes. Britain first are still wankers. Look at that. I mean, that's really, really good English, isn't it? That's really acceptable English. Who's behind the UK pro-Donald pro Trump protest? A confusing mixture of right-wingers who want to welcome the fascist sympathiser-in-chief. I mean, that's really well-balanced reporting, isn't it? One of the most powerful men in the world with, with, who's responsible for a massive u nuclear arsenal that can wipe out the world's population about three times over. And all I've got to say about him is he's a fascist sympathiser. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Uh, they always hear these wankers, oh, excuse me, these people, uh, including Tommy, they always attack Tommy. Hateful hero of the British far right. Oh, and, and the more offended the facts he points out about the murders of his friends and the, the rape of his of his townspeople and the fact that loads of his town people have gone to be terrorists. I mean, they think it's really terrible, this. But uh, it is the truth, of course. Uh, just because everyone else is too cowardly to point out these mass rape gangs are really going on, uh, it doesn't detract from the fact that he's telling the truth. And it doesn't matter how much these Islamists at Vice want to deny it, uh, like me, the tweets they were all basically they weren't anti-Muslim tweets of Jada Franson's they were true tweets the man that attacked the the Dutch guy that attacked this man on crutches may not have been born overseas but he was the son of a migrant family and he would undoubtedly be a Muslim okay see you guys I mean it's absolutely a pile of shite isn't it we see these, we see, they actually, they're brave enough to put the sticker on the camera, so you know it's them. But, and it's always, uh, it's never white Europeans reporting. It's always some, uh, some Canadian or bloody American guy who's after making a fortune. Oh, I mean, look at that. I mean, how ridiculous that, is that? And they're supposed to portray themselves as serious media outlets. Fancy using words like that. I mean, how ridiculous.